when you're sitting here with the breath, other thoughts are going to come in. And each time you're able to say no to that thought, remind yourself you just freed yourself from a, another little rebirth. And all the stress that goes with all that. It's good to appreciate that fact. Sometimes when the mind is still, it seems like it's stupid. It's not thinking about anything, not coming up with any good new ideas. That's not the case. You're learning a different skill entirely. I mean, we've, we have the skill of thinking. We've been thinking ever since we learned language. And even before we learned language, we probably had thoughts that were not in words. So it's good to learn another skill, the skill that says no, the skills that pull you out of all those different thought worlds, the worlds of language, the worlds of your imagination. I mean, they have their uses, but it's also good to have the skill of learning how to step out. And so learn how to appreciate that fact that you are stepping out of an entanglement, you're stepping out of something that could weigh the mind down. And you want to get really good at that, because sometimes the thoughts are becoming really strong. And especially when they're strong, you need to be very skilled at being able to pull out and not get sucked into them. So for the sake of having that ability in your, in your arsenal, okay, just learn how to be still and quiet and just watching, 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 and not getting involved in anything that's going to pull you away from the ability to be right here with the breath. It's like when they teach boxing in Thailand. The first step they teach you is how to get out of a clinch, how to pull back from your opponent. So if things get difficult, you can pull out at any time. And that's the same with the breath. You're using the breath, you're using the stillness as a way of stepping out of your thought worlds. Because it's one, one of the most important skills we can have in learning how to cut short a thought that's going on off in the wrong direction. You don't have to tie up the loose ends before you leave, you just leave it. And the thought will dissolve on its own. That way it's your choice. You see a thought world comes, on, comes up and it actually is something that's useful, okay, you can go with it. If it's not, you can stay on. But for the time being, work on the skill of staying out, because that's what needs the most practice. 